usually arrive in Navigny by boat in the early morning. The water is already crystal clear, and if you look even closer, you can tell that the island has a special protection for its guests. Whether it is the sharks or more likely the size of the island, the beach is relatively quiet around Navigny, whether one side or the other. Water is also relatively shallow around the island, which makes it very safe for kids, especially as there is no pool in the island. But you can rest around multiple seats all around the place, whether on the sunny side in the morning or on the sunset in the evening. There are about 10 bungalows in Navini called Bure, and they are not easy to spot and they are well hidden behind the green vegetation. Inside Navini, you have a lot of small paths where all the burets are connected and a lot of vegetation which makes it very nice and well protected from the outside, the wind and the sun. The team has indeed planted a lot of vegetation from trees to flowers which makes the inside of Navini very special. Navini is also eco-friendly and all the water comes from the sky before being treated so you can drink it. But what do you do from sunrise at Navini? Well, usually you get the 8 o'clock call for breakfast where Navini can serve you the special pancake with ice cream, orange juice and whatever else you'd like. Then you can leave for a special trip in the morning to another island to visit some local schools or some other activities, like getting into some sandy beach isolated in the ocean, or getting into some fishing trip which gets you in the morning around the island to catch a few fish for lunch or dinner. You usually come back around 1 p.m. to get ready for lunch. Whether you are coming from the morning trip or if you have stayed in the island, everybody will gather in the dining area to have some special lunch salad or some sandwiches that the team has prepared. In the afternoon, you can enjoy intensive physical activities like fish watching or get into a canoe or pedalo or even if you are more adventurous a small sailing boat will take you around the island. Canoe is very popular and many kids or adults will go around and play. Everyone at some time will do snorkeling around the island where you enjoy a reef full of corals and a lot of fish with good visibility. If you are lucky you will see some sharks but for sure you will see tons of fish which will go and play with you all around. Even the blue starfish will stand and watch the view. If the view of the local black tip doesn't satisfy you, you can even plan for a diving trip. And there are multiple places around the island, about 20 minutes to half an hour boat ride, which would take you to some amazing diving places. There will be a lot of fish and a lot of colors. If still not enough, you can even do some wreck dive where the salamander lands in 26 meters and offer very good wreck diving. Make sure you come back before 4.30 where the major activity of the day involving all the guests and the staff will start. It's volleyball. After the game, you can rest a little bit in the hammock with or without a book that you can find in the library. Sunset will come far too soon, but that's not the end of the day. Around 7 p.m., people will gather to start the cocktail activities and to start the chatting with all the other guests. Dinner is usually served around 7.30 to 8 and if you are lucky, you'll get into a special night. After the kava ceremony, the staff will prepare some songs and dance where everybody is very welcome to participate. <laughs> The 
Even later in the night, if you are still around, you can play Vindi Vindi, the local game with everyone. Far too soon the end of the stay will come, and you'll have to say goodbye to all your new friends, taking the boat back to real life. It is a tough time, but only gives you a chance to think about your next vacation at Navini.